I've had an opportunity to work with uh, Jim White for a number of years. First on the accreditation committee, and gosh, did he work us hard. And then uh, I was privileged to serve on the council for the section of legal education and admission to the bar. But I think my most rewarding experience was when I was chairman of the American Bar Association's Commission on Opportunities for Minorities in the Profession. I used the knowledge that I learned working with Jim to work with him and with the council to assure that our goals and mission to advance equal opportunity for lawyers, law, lawyers and law students of color would be successful. Thanks to Jim's leadership, his hard work, and knowing how to get things done, uh, we were able to increase the number of minority law school applicants, as well as to have an effect on the number of tenured track professors for lawyers of color. I think that that's just an outstanding legacy for Jim to have achieved. On a final note, let me just say that as a proud resident of the city of Indianapolis, or at least the vicinity, Jim's involvement in the cultural arts, along with that of his wife, really says a lot about our profession. We're not so self-centered and focused on our positions as a distinguished law school professor, a consultant to the um, council, uh, or working with the troubled issues that we faced uh, before the accreditation committee. But rather, Jim took the time to understand and embrace the arts, which is something that we get credit for, but he's done all the work. Thanks, Jim.